business news and the preliminary survey is underway for the Lokichar Lamu pipeline. Even as the National Environment Management Authority called on the public to submit comments on the project's environmental impact study, Noah Kipkemboy reports. In August this year, Kenya made its first oil export through the early oil pilot scheme. At the time, 200,000 barrels of crude oil were exported as a means to test the market. To stabilize in the export game comes in Lokicha Lamu Pipeline. Land acquisition along the line is currently being handled by the National Lands Commission with the environmental impact assessment being done by NEMA with finalization being expected to be completed in March next year. The pipeline will cover over 824 kilometers, crossing six counties, and will be built on a 500-meter-wide corridor reserved for the Lapset project. The pipeline will take up a width of 32 meters, with 26 meters reserved as right-of-way and 6 meters reserved to lay the actual pipeline. The designs of the pipeline, which were done by British firm Wood Group, gives Kenya an option of two, one with onshore storage facility at a cost of 121.45 billion shillings or floating storage facility costing 111.33 billion shillings. The line requires the installation of 16 stations and will be heated to account for the waxy nature of the oil. Once installed, the line will have the capacity to pump 65,000 barrels of oil a day. The Lokichar Basin, whose oil was discovered in 2012, has an estimated 560 million barrels in proven and probable reserves. The project is currently on pre-final investment decision stage, with the final investment decision expected mid next year. The project, which is a collaboration between the Kenyan government and Total, Talo and Africa Oil Co. is expected to begin 15 months after the final investment decision is made. Full-scale oil production is projected to start in 2022. Now keep going.